Hello everyone, welcome to today's show. We're going to take this old Cockshot 40 that's been seized up and not running for the last 30 years and drive it around the yard. Stay tuned. So guys, my neighbor dropped this cockshot 40 off here. Looks like he found it at an auction and it hasn't run in a long damn time. Nearest they could tell somewhere in the late 80s is about the last time this thing has moved. So naturally, the engine seized right up tight. You know, the kind of stuff that I just, I just gobble this right up. So being that he knew I like to fumble around with these things, he thought maybe he'd just drop it off here. So challenge accepted. Let's see if we can get this old bird going today. Now the very first thing we've got to do, being that this is seized up, is make it not seized up anymore. It looks like at the auction someone's already pulled all the plugs out and probably shot some stuff in there. But this thing is definitely, and I gotta be careful, I don't wanna break this thing off here, but. We're, we're not going anywhere. Ooh, there, I almost broke something off. This thing is definitely... She, she's not moving. It ain't turning. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mix up a little concoction of my own. I've had pretty good luck in the past with a little diesel fuel and uh, automatic transmission fluid. I'm just going to pour it in all these cylinder holes and just let that sit and cook for a little while. Meanwhile, for the next extended period of time. I'm going to work on this flywheel on either side with this crowbar. Uh, I may have to get something out. We might try to drop it into high gear and pop the clutch a few times with pulling it. You know, just the stuff you do when you have an engine that won't crank. Now let's get started. All right, got my little... Nope, even though it's in a paint cup, it definitely is not red paint. I got about uh, maybe 70% diesel fuel and 30% synthetic transmission fluid in this concoction here. Now I don't believe it's going to take a whole lot to get this thing to free up. It has been sitting inside. It's been under a roof all this time in the back of the old barn. So chances are it ain't got much going on in there. Let me see if I can just get a slosh of this in each hole here. Okay, so I've got that in there. I'm going to let that sit for a couple of hours and I'm going to come back with that crowbar and just start working these cylinders, or, you know, working it real easy, real slow, work it back and forth a little bit here. Maybe try some of my favorite engine elixir here, some liquid wrench. We'll just give it some of that too. I mean, why not? There. Yeah, like I say, we're just going to let that sit and cook for a little while and uh, we'll come back in a little bit. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll. Whatever piece of rust is holding them rings on will let go. I doubt it very highly, but hey, I've been wrong before. Let's try, try the old tire tool here. Just, what do we got? A little bit. Not enough. Okay guys, let's fast forward a little bit here. We're exactly a week and two days into letting this thing set and marinate with various different uh, fluids poured down the cylinder holes. Um, I've been trying to work the flywheel. You know, every day I'll come out and give it a little squirt and work the flywheel. Uh, we're getting nowhere fast. This baby just doesn't want to let go. We might have to resort to 
something different. Oh, yeah, she just. This son of a bitch is just locked up tight, guys. Um, I feel like I kind of hated to do it because it takes kind of some of the fun out of it, but we might have to pull the cylinder head and see what's going on. Hate to say it, but um, we have one last resort. I'm going to try to hook it to a tractor and maybe have the neighbor come over who owns the tractor here. And uh, we'll drop this thing into high gear and pop the clutch a few times. But I just, if I can't turn it with a big stick on the flywheel, I feel like that's probably not going to work. But it's worth a shot, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll try that. All right, guys. Well, we're quite a few days. I kind of lost track. A week and a half, maybe, pushing two weeks into letting stuff sit in these cylinders. And I've even made this little deal here. I bolted in because these are nice. You can get right to the clutch and the flywheel. So I bolted this to the flywheel, just seeing if I could maybe, you know, just a little something to work it loose. And I got nothing. I mean, it, it does move that 30 second of an inch either way, but all that's telling me is that there's probably a piston in there at top dead center locked up tight. So I'm gonna try something else today. I feel like there's probably Either that piston's really froze in, or there's some mechanic, there's something's, something's not right. So I went and picked my up bore scope here. I'm gonna go get my suction gun, and I'm gonna cheerleader all that juice out of there. And let's just, let's have a look and see what's actually going on. So I got my suction gun here with a little small tube that I can scoot down into these plug holes here and just see if I can get all that crap back out of there again. Oh, there's some. Number three is full. Really full. Really full. You know, it's funny. If you look in the bottom of this container here, uh, that was absolutely clean before I started sucking the bad stuff out of there. So, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely pulling some carbon deposits and whatever else out. All right, well, let's see if I can hang this somewhere useful. Nope. Hey, how about right here? There we go. All right, let me get you up here and... Up here close in person and see if we can see. All right, guys, I don't know if this is going to work very well or not, but we're going to try it. All right, well, let's jam the camera down in the hole and see what kind of stuff we can see in there. Turn that down a little bit, not that much. Hey, that's should be boring right down on top of the piston. Sidewall. Definitely a little sludge in there, but I don't think that one is seized up tight. Let me try and I can't tell. Alright, well let's go in number two. View here okay there's some definite okay that's looking at the valves okay all right guys i'm just going to set you back here for a minute i'm going to finish scoping these out i thought maybe it'd be cool if i could get my yeah it didn't work so i'll kind of describe what i see as i'm going here i wish i could show you this it almost looks like mushrooms inside of there huh and number six looks just fine so long and short story guys basically there's three cylinders that I rusted up so tight I don't think they're gonna unrust 
That brings on a whole new set of problems. Huh. Well, I guess the cylinder head has to come off if we want to go any farther with this project. Well, carburetor out. Huh. Awesome. I think I see the problem. All right, friends, so here is what we've got. Number one is loose. Number two, questionable. Number three, questionable. Number four is loose. Number six is loose. Number five, yeah, number five. That That's that that's bad. I mean <laughs> I don't even know. It's just bad. Well, got to get it loose somehow. Let's get a hammer. <laughs> Guys, we're trying everything here. I'm running out of resources as to how to get this thing to unseize. I'm just about ready to put pull the oil pan See if I can reach up in there far enough to pull the cap bolts off the rod on this cylinder and that one and start swinging a hammer. But I have one more thing I'm going to try before I go that extreme. And we're going to try it real quick here.
just enough of that. I'm going to end up doing more damage than good if I try to take it out and have somebody help out, maybe pop the clutch a little faster. Probably going to bend all the rods. Who knows? Could be worse. So I think, well, everything's still in one piece. I'm just going to pull the oil pan, see if I can get them two caps loose that are held up. Maybe drive the whole thing out. I don't know. We'll see. One way or another, this motor's coming apart and it's going to run. I'm not about to give up now. Actually, not as bad as I expected. Could be worse. There was a little bit of rainwater in the bottom when I drained the oil out, which I expected there to be. Let's see what we got to work with here. Where's my flashlight? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so basically since everything I'm trying with this seems to not work, now that I got the sleeve out, I can try a few different things before I go absolutely 100% ape shit on this thing, which I'm hoping I don't have to do. I'm going to try heating up the outsides of this sleeve a little bit. I got a nice wood block I cut out to kind of fit in here. I got a big hammer. I got several big hammers. I got a little, a little more... Uh, a little more juice to put in here. I got a lot of things to try. Here we go. I think I'm getting somewhere now. Well, friends, as much as I hate to say, I'm going to say it anyway, we're going to pull the plug on this for the time being, not for permanent, but for the time being. We are now into this tractor pretty darn deep. It's not in very good shape. Everything, these four holes now are plenty loose and rolls over good. I got two pistons and I got the sleeves out. And yeah, they're out. They're not in great shape. I gotta find a way to press those out of there. Maybe stick them in the oven when Mrs. JT's not looking. Maybe stick them in the freezer also when Mrs. JT's not looking. I don't know, I gotta do something because they, they won't come apart. Now guys, I've had some engines I've really had to fight before, but generally speaking, for the most part, I've been pretty lucky and I always win the battle. I'm not saying that I lost the battle on this yet either, but I am saying it ain't my tractor and I just don't know how far Matt wants to go with this thing. Um, I mean, if he wanted to put an in-frame rebuild kit on it, now would be the time to do that. We could get pistons and sleeves and a set of bearings and maybe have the head redone. And I'm sure it would run perfectly fine for a long time. Also, looking at that point, do we really want to throw 
plus dollars at a at, at this. I don't know. Got to throw my hands up, guys. I don't know what to do. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Sorry, I did not get this to start. Hey, you win some, you lose some. That's all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.